Sports doesn't build character, it exposes it. And the adversarial nature of the family court is the same. It doesn't build your character, it exposes it. And it exposed mine. I didn't like what I saw, so I changed it. And I needed to. It's, um, I was totally motivated for my children. So if I wasn't going to make the changes for them, then I wasn't going to make changes for anybody. So it's everything I do is for my children. And like I said, I've um, you know a lot of people that I've 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 dealt with and I've I've confronted them with some hard truths. And I said, you got to deal with this. That's what the counselors are for. You know, um, you got to heal. You got to be able to heal before you move because it's, tra- it's traumatic. To break up is one thing. That's trauma number one. Break up. Um, and not see your children, because now you're only going to see them maybe half the time if you're lucky. That's trauma number two, you know. Um, and then to go through family court, that's trauma number three. And that's, that's, you know, if you can get to see your children, that's great. But with a, with a protection order, which a lot of people have, that now you're talking about supervised contact. To get to a position in life where you love your children so much, and now all of a sudden... You can only see them if someone's there supervising. That's soul destroying. It's soul destroying, and I, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. And I've I've dealt with mums also who've had to be supervised. They've carried the children for nine months, right, within them, and then they go through this, things fall apart, and now they have to supervise the children. It's just you know, it's it's gut wrenching listening to that. Mandate.